Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here with Kelly Malcolm today of Amex Exploration. He's the VP of Exploration for the company. And uh, as people will know about these conferences, I do some interviews that are not current recommendations in my newsletter. But this is a fact-finding mission. I get to be introduced to new companies, and Kelly gets introduced to some newsletter writers. So we're, we're just going to have some fun. I'm going to learn sure. about your company for the first time and, and see if there's a match there. Excellent. So welcome to the show. Thanks very much for having me on. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. So for, why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about the, the basics for the company, uh, share structure, uh, symbols in the U.S. and Canada, and then a little bit about yourself. Sure. So Amex trades under the symbol AMX on the TSXV, MXO in Germany, and AMX EF in the U.S. Uh, we are a gold exploration company. We've made three significant discoveries this year. Uh, we announced last week the close of a $9 million private placement at a flow-through premium of $1.80. Stock's currently trading at about $1.08, um, and we've had dramatic success this past year. Yeah, and the share structure is what again? 67 million shares okay. out after the first tranche of around $8 million of the $9 million placement. Uh, the remaining million should close in the next week or so. Great. So you're cashed up, you had a, a, a good discovery this past year. Mm -hmm. I, this is the first time I'm getting to know the story, so sure. why don't you explain how that happened and what, what, what you found? Sure. So we've actually had this project in this company since 1996. It's wow. been sitting on the shelf for a while. Um, we made a discovery in 2013 of a polymetallic uh, VMS type zone. Uh, looked really similar to Agnico Eagle's La Ronde project. Oh, okay. And coincidentally, Agnico optioned the project from us in 2013 until 2017, spent $3 million on a $4 million earn-in, uh, decided to vend the project back to us without earning any interest in it. Uh, we did some drilling in December of 2017, drilled a single hole into our eastern gold zone, which this year we've done about 20,000 meters of drilling into. Um, we did, uh, essentially in, in December of 2018, we started our big exploration program, um, discovered a lot of high-grade gold, closed a $5.4 million financing in March of this past year. Wow. Uh, Eric Sprott was the lead order in that. Um, and then in the summer, we went and, and drilled in some areas of historic drilling, identified again some very high-grade gold uh, on the Gratien Gold Zone, then did some step-out drilling, identified new gold in this Grey Cat Zone that we announced in September. Uh, and there is a lot of exploration potential along strike of these zones, which are currently in a three-kilometer corridor. And we're hoping to link those three different zones together uh, in 2020 with this new financing. So build the ounces, get the, the gold ounces up very quickly, it sounds yeah. like. Wow, that's that's really cool. And especially with a high grade, it's very easy to build ounces. It, right. it doesn't take very much uh, volume to add a lot of ounces to your deposit. Right. So where is this? What camp is this? This is in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt, uh, right in the heart of it. So within about a two-hour drive, we have Gold Corp, Kirkland Lake, Agnico Eagle, IM Gold, Detour Gold. Uh, you name it, Everybody's pretty well, right there, yeah. they're right there. <laughs> who's who of uh, who's gold? Who is there? Uh, right. Basically everyone but Barrick is in our neighborhood. Right. Um, we're on a highway, we have power on site, water on site, cell phone service on site. We had an analyst tour uh, on site in August and we brought, we actually ordered pizza to our core shack just to show uh, how great the infrastructure is on the site. Wow, cool. So that's exciting. Wow, Ooh, this yeah, is, you're fun. checking a lot of my boxes really quick here. <laughs> so. What, what happened here, like but before the discovery, where, where were you trading at? What was your stock price? Uh, it was quite low. We were about eight cents in November of last year prior to the commencement of our drilling campaign. Uh, we did a 75 cent placement in March following continued news wow. flow on discoveries. Uh, and our most recent placement was $1.80, wow. trading at buck eight. So we're wow. around a 70 million market cap right now. Um, I think that this, this $9 million flow through, which is all dedicated to drilling in the ground, uh, should add value uh, to current and new shareholders. So my goodness, you're, you've had a 20x from the eight cents, right? It's been a really good year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful. Well, congratulations. Thank you. So uh, you're here, with, who invited you? The, what newsletter writer was covering you? Uh, Brian Linden in, in New Orleans. We were oh, down at Brian. that show. So he okay. invited us up to uh, come and say hello and meet everyone. At MIF. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Well, I'm glad he did. And this, Thanks, is, yeah. this is a good fortuitous meeting. And uh, you know, these are the kind of stories that we love to hear about. So this is why we invest in these things as speculators, right? Excellent. People have already made money with you, but it sounds like there's still plenty more upside. If I this think there's, there's lots of room to grow. So, so 
I, I'd love and, and request anyone to take a look at our website. Um, so we've defined in this core of three kilometers all these different zones of gold, and then we have an additional uh, four kilometers on the southern fault to explore that has seen very, very little to no drilling, and we have a northern fault that has seen almost no drilling in this company's 20-year history. Wow. So lots of potential for additional discoveries, and we think that we've got uh, multi-million ounce potential here, and we're really looking forward to continuing to test. So obviously, you know, if this if this works out the way we're we're thinking, you know, with building the ounces quickly, I mean, you're a buyout target for sure. Uh, yeah, that, I, 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 I would agree. I mean, we're, we're close to a bunch of mills that are performing under capacity that are looking for additional sources of ore. Uh, we've had some site visits from some corporates, um, so certainly on their radar. Uh, currently don't have a strategic partner right now, right. Uh, but certainly open to that going right. forward. We would think Amico Eagle knows the story and maybe they yeah, step there's, back there's in. There's lots of companies know. that are right. looking at it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. No, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So, well, um, anything else you want to talk about right now before we wrap up? Uh, no, we're just really looking forward to this, this expanded drilling program. It's one of the biggest campaigns in Canada this coming year. Uh, so we upsized, when we announced our financing closing, we announced an upsize from 40,000 to 100,000 meters for this drill 100, program. 100,000 meters, that's we'll have, huge. Yeah. We'll have three drills on site as of January 5th, currently drilling with two, and I think there's gonna be a lot of fun going forward. Yeah, you can drill year round for the most part, Correct. other than breakup in the Abitibi. Yeah, we take a spring breakup and we take a hunting season breakup. Yeah. Because we had, uh, we went up to the drill one morning and there was a hunter's blind oh. uh, just beside the drill, so we decided to call it quits <laughs> for two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Let the hunters get their bag, their elk, or their deer, That's right? It, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Well, listen, it's a pleasure meeting you. Love to meet you as well, Greg. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Greg McCoach here in the Metals Investor Forum in Vancouver with Amex Exploration.